Measuring urine levels of industrial toxins is more useful than measuring food levels, since it indicates how much of the pollutants are actually absorbed into the body. So in one sense, it's telling you what kind of levels are circulating in your body. At the same time, it's telling you how much your body is successfully getting rid of through the kidneys. Ideally, we'd like to measure levels in human tissues, like how much is actually lodged in one's breast tissue, for example. Well, you know, women get breast surgery all the time. Why not test surgical samples of removed breast tissue? Uh, women get fibroids removed. We can test those too. Fresh autopsy samples. And hey, what about liposuction? How did the levels of polybrominated diphenyl ethers, uh, flame retardant chemicals, in the breast tissue of California women compare to various tissue samples taken from women around the world? Where do these flags fit? Which of these bars represents the levels found in Belgian women, Brazilian women, right? Californian, Czech, French, Hong Kong, Japanese, New Yorkers, Singaporean, or Spanish women? Do we wish they could all be California? No. Look at that spread. Two orders of magnitude. The breast tissue of California women had nearly 10 times more than women in any other country. And compared to the lowest levels, autopsy samples of Japanese women, 100 times higher levels found in New Yorker liposuction.